Microsoft 365 Copilot is globally available since 1st November 2023. This generative AI tool is something that we're looking for since the beginning of this year and more and more organizations starting to look about the possibility to use generative AI tools like Bing Chat Enterprise or Microsoft 365 Copilot in the organization to extend the capabilities how employees could work, create the new content and collaborate much faster. At the same time, Microsoft 365 Copilot will not be something available for free. We already know that single user license per month will be $30 per user. It's not cheap product. Moreover, we can tell that this is premium product, which will be dedicated for the largest organizations. But not only enterprise companies looking for the possibility to enlarge the possibility to use AI for the daily collaboration. If your organization looking for the possibility to use Microsoft Copilot, I will tell you what are the requirements to deploy this tool in your organizations. If you will be able to tell if your organization will be eligible to deliver Microsoft Copilot for your users. And as always, I want to ask you if you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And if you will have any additional comments or questions about Copilot, do not hesitate, just leave the comments below. And before we will move to prerequisites of the Microsoft Copilot, just one reminder, I working on the free course that will help you to prepare yourself and your organization for Microsoft 365 Copilot. If you want to sign up for it, you will find the link in the description. As soon as the trainings will be available, I will let you know. And we know that AI is a huge buzzword right now, but to be very fair, generative AI tools could be very helpful. So you shouldn't be surprised that more and more organizations are interested in using Microsoft 365 Copilot. And we will go through all prerequisites required on your side to deploy Microsoft Copilot in your organization. You will see there are a few hard requirements or a few soft ones, but still it will be good to have better understanding what is needed, what is very heavily needed to deploy Microsoft Copilot. First of all, you need to remember that beta access to the Copilot solution was invited only paid only access provided by Microsoft to selected the biggest customers. And right now, after the 1st November, the global availability of the Microsoft Copilot will be also limited. So only the largest organizations who signed enterprise agreement with the Microsoft will have the possibility to order Microsoft Copilot subscriptions to the users. Moreover, the minimal number of the subscriptions is 300 plus. So you will need to make a commitment as a part of your enterprise agreement to at least 300 users to start to use Microsoft Copilot. Again, this is subscription for multiple years, mostly two, three years. So having the really good business case for the Microsoft Copilot will be needed because investment will be a little larger. From the perspective of testing it, you need to remember there's no trial license. So there's no possibility to get access like for Viva premium products to test it, to play with it, to see how it works. You will need to use Microsoft 365 Copilot subscription $30 per user per month and for at least 300 users. For some organizations, it could be a little blocker, but again, if the large organization want to invest in generative AI tools, that's the direction to do that. In the future, you could expect that this requirement, so having enterprise agreement signed will not be present 
every organization with every type of the contract will get access to copilot also the number of 300 seats minimal will be moved but at the same time deployment of microsoft copilot requires a lot of technical investment on the microsoft side having semantic index deployed for your organization is not something free so you could expect even if enterprise agreement will not be required minimal number of seats could be something that will stay on top for the some at least some period of time another license based requirement for the using microsoft copilot is having microsoft 365 e3 or microsoft 365 e5 subscriptions so the most expensive the most powerful subscriptions for the microsoft 365 only organizations owning that kind of subscriptions will have access to the microsoft copilot in the future it will be also extended for the microsoft 365 business standard and premium office 365 e3 e5 subscriptions are not yet confirmed there is a chance that this subscription will also allow you to use microsoft copilot but at this moment it is not confirmed by microsoft so today if you want to go for the microsoft 365 copilot application you will need to have e3 or E5 subscription for the Microsoft 365. Another element that you need to take into consideration is the tools which you are using. New Outlook is something required to use Microsoft Copilot in the Outlook. Again, it's not something that will block you from using Copilot in general, but it won't be supported in the classic Outlook application. It could be a little challenging because Microsoft Outlook in the new version is not fully functional. This version of the Outlook will be developed in the next months. You could expect that it will be the product that will be rolled out with whole functionality probably in the year plus. So if your users would start to use Microsoft Copilot in the Outlook, you will also need to move them to the new Outlook application or use the browser version of the app. OneDrive is also required to use Microsoft Copilot. Copilot will use space in the OneDrive to generate some files or save some data there. So if your users for any reasons have the OneDrive account turned off, this could be the blocker to get the fully functional Microsoft Copilot application. From the perspective of the other apps, Teams in the classic and new version are fully supported. Microsoft Loop could be also required if you want to use the capabilities of the Microsoft Copilot. Plus something super basic, that's why I'm mentioning that at the end, users who will use Microsoft Copilot need to have Azure Entra ID slash Active Directory accounts and Microsoft 365 apps which meant Office Suite on the desktop based on the Office 365 subscription, so Word, PowerPoint, Excel. If you want to use goodness of the Copilot there, you will need to also contain that kind of subscription. But in case of the Microsoft 365 E3 and E5, that's not the problem. So you can see in general, Microsoft Copilot will be dedicated at the first phase for the enterprise organizations that using Microsoft 365 E3, E5 have enterprise agreement in place and will buy at least 300 subscriptions of the Microsoft 365 Copilot. Other requirements will allow you to use the Copilot in the different application but will not block you from using that. But you can see the direction which I mentioned in the other videos to move from Office 365, E3, E5, E1 subscriptions to the Microsoft 365, E3, E5 happening. But what to do if you want to test Microsoft Copilot but you don't have access to it? For now, of course, you can watch a lot of videos how Microsoft Copilot works, how you can use it in a 
Word, PowerPoint or Excel or in the Microsoft 365, but at the same time, you will not be able to feel it and touch it. I have the chance to work with the Microsoft Copilot. It's very interesting, but will also require from you to learn how to prompt Copilot and get the right answers, but the results could be very surprising and very efficient from perspective of the data you will get from this AI based tool. But what to do if you don't have subscription? Try Bing Chat Enterprise. This is the tool that will give you the possibility to figure out the ways how the large language models could be used to generate the content. In case of the Bing Chat, you will be able to get that data directly from the search engine, so bing.com that offers to gather the data from the internet. It will not access your data in the Microsoft 365, but it allows you to get the familiar with the way how Microsoft Copilot works. Moreover, in the Edge, Microsoft Copilot replaces Bing Chat when you will enable it, so experience is very similar. I hope this video gives you the overview of the all required features, all prerequisites that need to be on your side to start with the Microsoft Copilot. Again, at the very first stage, you can see this product is dedicated for the largest organizations, but you could expect that sooner or later, this will be limited to most of the organizations that will own Microsoft 365 subscriptions. And if you want to learn a little more about Copilot, visit my blog, sign up for the training that I'm preparing Let's prepare ourselves to the generative AI tools in the Microsoft environment. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.